Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and today we're going to be talking about Game Jam South. Hey guys, it's Mondane, and I have to tell you that I went to Game Jam South, and uh, that was on April 30th uh, in 2022 in Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, man, I, I got to go there, I got to see all of the games, I got to see all of the extras, I got to see just tons and tons of stuff. And um, I even got to see my friend Bo, aka MB the Great One, uh, spelled M B T H E G R, the number eight and the number one. That you go find him on Twitch. Awesome guy. Uh, definitely should give him a follow. He also has a YouTube channel. All of those links I'll put in the description below. I also went to meet Retro Wolf eighty uh, eight. He is a fellow Southern gamer, and I wanted to give him a good, nice, warm welcome to my home state of Alabama. Uh, so again, I will put his link in to his YouTube channel in uh, the description below. And then I ran into Amy from Cheap Finds Gold Mines, and she was very lovely and very welcoming. Uh, just uh, a pleasure to be around. Um, just very, very nice. But you gotta be asking, why did I go? Why? And honestly, I went just to get ready to start going to more conventions and to go to a smaller one to kind of like acclimate myself back to this. It's been a really long time since I've been to a convention and I wanted to start with something a little bit on the smaller side. It's, it is not a tiny convention but it is definitely smaller than something much lar uh, something much more known like dragon con uh, i also wanted to spend some time with my stepson tyson and he's been getting into some more retro stuff and uh, recapturing some of the things from his childhood and so I, I wanted to go and spend some time with him and you know have some fun with him and some of his friends uh, which actually uh, a few of them are actually my friends as well uh, and I also wanted to just game hunt and I know I know what you're about to say but mundane mundane it is still the year 2022 and you're not allowed to spend any money on video games in 2022 how about new well that's true and there's and that's also not true because honestly uh, anything that I've pre-ordered doesn't count, any trades that I do do not count, and any money that was set aside from last year, like the Christmas money that was given to me from my mother-in-law, that doesn't count. So yes, I did pick things up. I only had about $50 worth of uh, Christmas money from last year to spend, but uh, the rest of it was done in, in trades, and let me tell you, that's the right way. And yes, I'm referencing Mr. Right Way. I am so... Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. You thought I was gonna do it, didn't you? You thought he was gonna do it. But see, this is why you watching the channel, because I am so... So excited! Because I got so excited about some of the games I saw at this convention. And I'm going to show them to you. So the first one is a Vita game. And guys, I love my Vita. It's one of the things that actually got me back into... Uh, it's one of the things that got me back into doing collecting and stuff like that. I had basically fallen off from collecting. And uh, one of my neighbors traded me a PSTV. And... Now I have God Hand, and I mean, sorry, God, God Wars. And this looks like a really interesting game. I've always seen a lot of advertisements for it, and I scored it on a trade. The next one is another Vita game. And uh, this one's a special edition because it comes with a soundtrack. This is Conception 2 on the Vita. It's another RPG. 
I love playing my Vita. I love RPGs. This looks very interesting to me. And I just had to have it. And again, I scored a trade and paid zero dollars for it. And another game that I paid zero money for is Samurai Showdown 6. This game is a limited run game. Uh, and I think it's one of the ones that's actually in Best Buy, but you know, let me know in the comments below. But I, I picked this up uh, and I traded away, what did I trade away? I think I traded away my old Blackmagic Shuttle uh, USB 3 capture card because um, it had some limitations on it that I was not too excited about. And um, hey, I'd rather have a video game than a capture card that I'm not using anymore. Next up, we have Tales of Zestria. Oops, here we go. And I picked this up actually for some of the Christmas money that I had. Uh, didn't pay a lot for it. I think I paid like maybe $10 for it or something like that. And uh, again, it's, it's a Tales of game. It looks really interesting. It's PlayStation 4. I'm kind of a Sony pony, but I'll play anything under the sun. My preferred uh, platforms are Sony based though. Then, in a trade, I picked up Injustice 2. Uh, I played this with my friend Senshatus, and I really, really enjoyed it. But the only copies that I could find that were cheap were the Redbox version, and I, I, I can't stand the red boxes. Uh, they look out of place. They look, they stick out like a sore thumb, and I just can't, I can't take it. I just cannot take having a red case, unless it's like a horror game, which is what I've done with my PlayStation 3 games. But I picked up Injustice, uh, didn't pay anything for it. Another game that I did not pay hardly anything for is Persona 5. And this is the Steelbook Edition. Again, another trade. Uh, my friend Sinchatis raves about this game and I wanted to give it a shot and I figure a zero dollar investment is a pretty low risk. And finally, uh, well actually, we're gonna skip over the last game, which I dropped into the floor. And we dropped by one of the uh, local gaming shops on the way home. We actually dropped by a couple of them. Um, we dropped by uh, Joysticks and D20s up in Coleman. We dropped by uh, Gamer Geeks, which is where I got this t-shirt. Really nice t-shirt, super nice guy. He's up in Warrior, Alabama. And in Gardendale, Alabama, we actually stopped by Top Games and checked a few things out, but I didn't really find anything there that I needed. Now, finally, now, finally, 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 I picked up a holy grail for me. Zoot! No, I am Zoot's identical twin sister, Dingo. Oh, but excuse me. Where I... are you going? I seek the grail. I have seen it here in this castle. No. Oh, no. Bad, bad Zoot. What is it? Um, there's... I don't really have that many holy grails that I, that I can actually find for a decent price. But I picked up 3D Dot Game Hero, and I have been looking for this game for a long time. I did not want to pay $90 for it. I knew it was not a $90 game, that it was just being artificially inflated because of the scare closing down the Sony store. But I've been wanting this game, and to make Lightsaber Samurai, Samurai uh, proud, you see that? It says Atlas. You want to see other things? Uh, let's see, where are the other ones? Uh, this one says Atlas. This one doesn't say Atlas. It says NIS America, but it's still one of those things where you should pay attention to NIS America. But. That's all I've got for you guys. I didn't spend any money. 
um, or at least any 2022 money. Let me know in the comments whether or not you believe that I've cheated on my goal of not uh, spending any 2022 money on video games or not. Um, like I said, most of these things are trades and stuff. I, I did pay actual cash for the t-shirt, but it's not a video game and I really wanted to support a local store that's got a really, really nice owner. But like I said, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, did I cheat? Did I not cheat? You know what? That's it. Take care, guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.